himself. Touchdown, Texas! Welcome to College Football Live. Kevin Nagandi here. Ed Cunningham will join us in a moment. The 2009 season has started for Texas. Spring ball is here, and Heisman hopeful Colt McCoy will join us along with head coach Mac Brown in a moment. But first, the storylines for Texas. Some key players return to a 12 and 1 team, starting with Colt McCoy, the quarterback back for his senior season after passing for over 3,800 yards last year. McCoy's favorite target and roommate, Jordan Shipley, returning after being granted a sixth year by the NCAA. He caught 89 balls and scored 11 touchdowns. Head coach in waiting, Will Muschamp, will return for his second season as Texas defensive coordinator. He provides stability to a team that had four coordinators the previous five years. And this spring will provide plenty of competition at running back in D-line. Brian Arakpo, one of the big names they need to replace in the front. And Texas head coach Mac Brown joins us here on College Football Live. Mac, what's the biggest thing you look to accomplish during spring practice? Kevin, we need to continue the momentum that we carried out of the Ohio State game uh, in the Fiesta Bowl. Make sure that the older ones find out what they need to improve on and, and continue to work in that area. But more than anything else, try to figure out which ones of the young ones need to step up and, and really help them with their, their fundamental toughness. Uh, the fundamentals of the game and tweak a few things in our scheme. Uh, the return of Colt McCoy, a huge boost for the 2009 expectations. How do you handle those expectations? Well, we embrace them at Texas. That's who we want to be. We, we want to win the national championship every year, and that's obviously not possible because it, it hasn't ever happened, but we feel like we're a team that should contend for it each year. We want to win our conference championship. We want to win the national championship, and that's who we are, and our guys work each day to make sure they try to live up to those expectations. Well, Coach, you lose Chris Obanaya. It was running back by committee last year. How do you feel about that situation this spring? All five guys were good players. They were very unselfish. In fact, we didn't lose a, a fumble at the running back position last year, which was really good for us, but we'd rather have them separate a little bit. They were all young except for Chris, and now you've got some guys that will really compete. And Kevin, some protect better than others. Some uh, are more power runners. Some have the speed game. So we'd like to find the uh, best overall guy and have him step up and the others compete with him. Now, there are losses on defense, especially on the line. Is that a concern for you? It is. You, you take a player like Aaron Lewis, uh, you, you look at Henry Melton, uh, and then all of a sudden you, you take Brian Arakpo and, and Roy Miller. That's four leaders. It's four really good football players. It's the four starters up front for us, really, and they're all gone. So that's one of the biggest concerns is to find the replacements for those guys this spring. Coach, what did you learn about the BCS process? Well, it's funny, Kevin. We had uh, Jeff Anderson from one of the six committees in this morning, and he spent about an hour, hour and a half talking to us. And it seems like when, when two-thirds of the process uh, is dependent on the polls, that obviously you need to score enough points to get the attention of the polls, and that's changed. So you have to look at the real dilemma right now. The NCAA and Big 12 constantly talks about sportsmanship and and, and where do you go with the sportsmanship and enough's enough and trying to run up the score? Well, the 2009 season starts today. Coach Brown, thank you for joining us here on College Football Live. Thanks, Kevin. It's hard to believe it's football season again. <laughs> it, it really is. In Mac Brown's 11 seasons at Texas, he has compiled a 115 and 26 record, joining Darrell Royal as only the second coach with 100 wins in Austin. The two time National Coach of the Year has eight consecutive 10 win seasons at Texas, the second longest streak in NCAA history. And we bring in Ed Cunningham. And Ed, what separates Mac Brown from other coaches out there? You know, Kevin, the first time I met Mac Brown, I thought he was snowing me. I, I thought there's no way that this guy is this genuine, this polite, uh, this good of a guy. Then the more you're around Mac Brown, you start to realize that, you know what, he just is that genuine and that good of a man. And that has carried through the entire state of Texas. That state obviously takes that very seriously. He's developed great relationships with the high school coaches around. And he's de developed what is a player-friendly uh, program and I don't mean that they're easy on their players or anything like that but players like being there they like playing there and that's helped in recruiting and also helped 
to keep good players like Colt McCoy and people like that around for an extra year or two, and that's why you have such great consistency at Texas. Yeah, whenever Mac decides to leave, Will Muschamp will take over as head coach. Here are his thoughts on the move. I think every situation is different, and I think that this was obviously, I'm, I'm partial, was a good decision for me and for Texas, but I think every situation is different. I, I, don't, I don't think so, certain staffs could handle this situation. We've got a great staff here. We've got a guys that are about Texas. In our situation, I think it's a good fit. I don't know that it's always a, the best solution everywhere. So Will is the coach in waiting, and we have seen this trend in college football over the last couple of years. Ed, how does this really help to have a coach in waiting? I think it's an amazing help uh, for a lot of different reasons. I, you know, I'd like to, we talked about it yesterday. I'd like to see it happen at Penn State with Tom Bradley, the defense coordinator. It gives you consistency on a couple of different levels. First of all, remember, Texas had started going through defensive coordinators there for a little while and were going on to be head coaches. So this gives them the consistency that they know Will Muschamp will be there. It's obvious this guy was going to be a head coach eventually. And I think it just it sends the message that, you know what, we are who we are. We've got a guy in house that's going to be the next head man. And, they, and what Mac Brown has started is going to continue for many years to come, regardless of how long Coach Brown decides to be the head coach there. Well, Muschamp will have to work his magic once again to replace some big names on the Longhorns defense. Texas loses three-fourths of its starting line, including All-American Brian Arakpo. Eleven and a half sacks right there. This coming from a defense defense that recorded 47 sacks in 2008. So I gave you the numbers there, Ed. What expectations do you have for this defense in 2009? Well, they're going to have to get better on the back end. The defensive backs last year, they were so young, and they will get better there. But there's still talent up there. The, the linebacking core comes back almost completely intact. You get a guy like Sergio Kendall, who burst onto the scene, kind of a tweener, defensive end linebacker. And Lamarck Houston is a guy in the middle that had a little bit of an up and down early career, but he seems to be getting uh, more consistent uh, being able to play every down as a defensive tackle. So they'll be okay. You lose a guy like Arakpo, I'm sorry, you just you don't replace him. I mean, he's top 10, top 15 pick in the NFL, but they'll be okay. I think, I, more importantly, I think that secondary has to gel and get a little better through spring. All right, look at the schedule for the Longhorns. And you know what? Everybody in Austin circling is September 19th. And that's when Texas Tech comes to town. And we all know about the heartbreak last year in Lubbock for the Longhorns. And then October 17th, the Red River rivalry against Oklahoma. That game in Dallas. Texas has some road games at Oklahoma State on Halloween. And then they're at Baylor. They finish the season at Texas A&M. Still ahead on College Football Live, more on the Longhorns. Ed will tell us what key players have to step up to 